it's me. And I've come to tell you about what I learned today. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm done. I know I sound just like her. You can just put in the comments. I sound just like Adele. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. No, but seriously, let me get right to it. Today has been a pretty freaking good day. You know, it's been very insightful. It's been a little difficult, you know, mentally, but it's, you know, it's been a good day. You get over the hump. Hey, that's a good freaking day, right? So, um, the most important thing that I learned today, probably maybe the most important lesson in my life, maybe, is this. We must surrender. That's the word I would say. This is this is it. Surrender. Okay? The past couple days, I have been in this emotional internal turmoil. And I don't know if it's just like my old habits wanting to come out. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. But um, I have been just in a state of just trying to control everything. You know, just trying to control everything. And even though I'm, like, really laid back and very free, I like to control things to make life copacetic around me. You know, it has to be this way or else I'm going to go crazy. I mean, not like, oh, my God, you have to put this right here. I'm going to go nuts. No, not like that, but just, you know, you just have in your mind this script of how it's going to go. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't always go that way. You know, so just trying to control things. But I think also, in a sense, now that I'm talking about it, maybe attaching my value and self worth to situations outside of me. You know, you can't control you can't control situations. You can't control other people. You can't control. You really can't control anything. So control anything except for that wonderful being you see every day when you look in the mirror, which is you. That's it. That's what I got from that. I said, listen, man, I was riding in the car. Um, normally, I listen to my sports talk radio, but here lately, I've been trying to take time to just, like, really talk to myself in the morning and just get clear before I start my day, okay? Like, this this is what we're going to do. This is what am I thinking, what's going on with me internally, you know, so that I can, you know, enjoy the rest of my day. So, Yeah. So I'm riding the car and I'm just like, oh, this is, I feel like I'm going nuts inside. And this word, like I'm just talking to myself and like, what is going on? Why do you want to control everything? What is this? And, and the word that came to me was just, you got to surrender. You can't control everything. The only thing that you're responsible for is you. That's it. So, so I, I start thinking about that and then... I said, well, let me let me look some more into that. So I um I found this Oprah video on uh from her life life class, and she was talking about surrender, about um surrendering because she had in her mind that she was gonna be in the color purple, like she had in her mind this is what it is, and she was really disappointed because she thought she didn't get it, but she said the minute that she let go was when. She actually got the part when she had already thought she said she was feeling bad about herself, like going on a shame fest, saying whatever, whatever, saying, you know, I'm I'm not a good person. I'm not good enough. All this stuff. And she said the minute she just she said she just let it go. And she just said, you know, what? I'm going to trust the process. Even if I don't get the role, I will go to the movie or and I will watch it and not even say, oh, that should be me in the part. And she said the minute that she let go is when. When um, she actually got it. And if you think about it, I think we would be happier if um, if we lived in that space. Because really and truly, if we could understand that there's no one we can control besides ourselves, then, oh my gosh, think about how much happier we would be. Because everyone, just like how we say everyone has their own inner music, everyone is their own individual person. Everything that's going around us has absolutely nothing to do with us you know people are just doing what they do people just do what they do and I think the minute that I said to myself okay I'm just gonna let go and I'm just gonna trust the process of whatever that is just trust the process and I, I started to feel a little lighter and even 
after I was having a tug of war in my brain of wanting to control or start thinking, you know, your mind starts to wonder, just going all the way. I said, hey, wait a minute. We're not going to do this today. Like, we're not doing this. Let go. Surrender. And that's what I just kept telling myself all day. And so um, this was the thing that she said that really, yeah, this, this really got me right here. She said that when we are, when, when we attach to things, we block our vision. Like we are blocking our vision from so many other possibilities because we're focused on this, just this one thing. This is the only way. This, it has to go this way. You know, when we do that, we completely block our vision. We are limiting all the trillion, billion possibilities that we could possibly have. You know, it's just like if if you say, I want this job, but it may be a job that's greater that we don't even know about yet because it's, it's past what we're just seeing in this very moment. So this is the quote for today. And then I'm going to be out. Food for thought. Attachment is the root of suffering. Everything unfolds the way that it's supposed to. When we get attached, we focus in so deeply on that one thing that we are blocking our vision from something that could potentially be much greater than what we want or see in the moment. Surrender to the unknown, let go, live in the moment, and embrace it. That's written by yours truly. That's quote. Andrea Fitzgerald, a.k.a. the dorky jock. What's up? You can quote that one. But um, really, I that's almost that almost sums up my day for me because I think I had to kind of internalize what I, me discovering it on my own and then backing it up with what I saw from the from the Oprah video. You know, it really changed my life. Today may be you know turn a corner, boom boom, turn a corner. No. But I think the lesson is this, and hopefully um, this may give you something to think about, that attachment is the root of suffering. Why would we make ourselves suffer? Because we want things to go a certain way. When we let go of control, that's really when we become happier. Because we're not just trying to control something, we're just, we're just being in a moment, we're just being our true selves, we're living in our essence, right? So when we attach, we're not doing that. Because our sole focus is on this has to go this way. So our motives may be wrong because we're just so attached to it going this way. Okay? Now, the next thing it says, everything unfolds the way that it's supposed to. And and it does. It always goes the way that it's supposed to. I always think about um, one time I applied for this internship in Atlanta. And I didn't get the job. And it was the first time that I went on an interview that I didn't get the job. And I was so disappointed. I was like, oh, shame fest, what's wrong with me? You know, shame puppet, oh my God, what's wrong with you? No. But anyways, you know, you sit here feeling bad. Why can't I get a job? All that. So then, you know, I didn't get the job, and I was just so disappointed. But later, maybe like four years later, I started working for um, the NBA team in Memphis. And then... I, I actually, I they had a job that came up in a manager position, and I ended up getting it. So once I get down there, they um they tell me once I get to once I get down there, they're like, yeah, um we usually don't hire internally, you know. So if I would have been an intern, then I would have stayed an intern because it was people who had been interns there for about five or six years, still being an intern. So it was a blessing that I didn't get that job because I wouldn't have got to my destination of being a manager of what I want to do during, you know, at that time. So it, it's always going the way it's supposed to. Even if we don't see it right now, it's something we can learn later on. It's something, it's a lesson that's being taught to us. Um, it's always, it's always unfolding, right? It's something we can get from it. It's something later on that we may not even see. Okay. And so the next part, when we fo- when we get attached, we focus in so deeply on that one thing that we are blocking our vision from something that could potentially be much greater than what we want to see in the moment. So that, that kind of speaks to what I stated before, that 
when we focus on one thing, we're limiting our vision. This is this is the only thing. It's got to go this way. It's got to be this person. This got to go. It's got to be that. It's got to be this. You know? And that's not that's 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 not giving us the opportunities that we could possibly have, right? It's it could be so much more than what we see. It's got to be this job. It's the only one. It's the only way. It's the only way it can be done. It's the only way I can get to where I need to. And that's not it. It's so many other possibilities, but we may be limiting ourselves just on this one thing that we want because we're so attached. Because we have to remember, it's the root of suffering. Why would we want to suffer? And I had to think about that today. Like, why would I want to? Why would I want to suffer? Why would I want to suffer? And then the last part is this, and we will be done. Surrender to the unknown. Let go. Live in the moment and embrace it. And it's so funny. I just talked about this yesterday, how when we really, when we don't know, that's when we progress. I know this. But, you know, it's still, it still, it just came up for me that I was just super duper attached. So just let go. If there's something that you are, are you know, completely attached to right now, maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a situation. Maybe it's circumstances beyond your control. Just let it go. Let it go, and I promise you will be a lot happier. It's always going the way that it's supposed to. Surrender your control and let it go. Because understand, there is only one person that you control in this world, and that is you. You know, we can only control ourselves. No one else, just us. We're the only people that we control. So, again, thank you for engaging. Thank you for checking me out. It's the Dorky Jock signing off. I'm out.